What's up guys, this is the Brightman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Toads War. Let's play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off where we left off, we have landed south of Rome and we have been attacked by Italian forces in response. Fortunately, we are drawing in their garrison forces, which are pretty, pretty weak. And we will be trying to optimise the UR use of cavalry to knock out their very substantial artillery forces. We have well-equipped artillery, so I have no real concerns. Their infantry is very weak. They have an interesting Papal Swiss Guard unit. But this provides an interesting opportunity to knock out a good chunk of their forces prior to an assault. So, we must fight them on the battlefield. The one thing which would which is slightly frustrating is that that would be a very nice garrison force to attack because chances are whatever garrison force spawns in Rome post this attack will uh, be weaker than this. Um, however, I don't feel like retreating, so we shall fight. We shall fight um, as much of our forces intact as possible. So while their garrison forces may ultimately be a bit weaker, um, chances are they will probably have some more numerous units, some decent artillery. You know, I'd rather fight against um, weakened units in a garrison during a half-strength light infantry unit when it comes to defending the city. So we will be... Right, that was meant to be everyone. So let's pick everyone up. And this will be... This is an hour special as it is a multiple of 10 episode so i think their reinforcements going to come from the left so i may i think i'm going to bang bet on it by putting two units of artillery facing that direction use some of my hessian line to form the center that's good stout fellows good we put one other artillery team here facing the main battlefield area. And let's pick a reasonable force to deploy out to the right and on the left facing where I suspect the bulk of their forces will come from will be our marines and a unit of rangers. Our cavalry will be split to try to take, take advantage of any spaces that may occur. We also have one spare gun team who will... That's not ideal. I could put a gun team here. Move this infantry unit on the left, which would help me out a bit more there. General in the centre, a bit of a defilade. Cool, then let's prepare. So yep, their infantry army... Their, their garrison force is coming on the right, so we're going to want to push on the left. They're coming on. They're coming on right in the worst possible position for us. Actually, some of you take position. Actually, no. I don't want to take position behind the wall. I don't know what that might do to their platoon firing capabilities. Um, this is passable terrain. We put my infantry there, get my cavalry out of the way. I'm going to want to push on the right so this gun team can limber up. This infantry force will advance at speed as will the cavalry. Whereas this gun team will redeploy over to here. Probably this patch of land here. Run the rangers. Keep engaging. So this gun team can now redeploy here, hopefully to provide some fire into the head of the enemy column. The general looks like he's going to run into a bit of a tricky spot and be engaged by my forces. Deploy my cavalry into their infantry. This gun team can limber up, to be honest, as can all of you. You too will pivot to face the threat. Time to fight what 
off for them. Okay. I think I'll move up a bit more aggressively than this. Come on, let artillery crews limber up. These traps deploy in a better position. General has been killed. It would be advantageous if we could make very rapid gains in their direction. guns because they are what will kill us the most then we need to get ready to advance on them spring my cavalry in I think that's worth the risk considering their forces are pretty dire Going to, going to provide us with our first targets. Good, let's unlimber my artillery. Reinforcements are incoming, but I fear they will be inadequate. Infantry in. Charging the cavalry. This needs to be over quickly. Or relatively quickly. The longer I take, the more. Ooh, that's our guns engaging. Yep, they know their safety is tied to the security of their guns. So let's pull this cavalry unit back. Pull this cover unit back too. Let's let my artillery do the work. Are all my other guns in position? You will soon be in position. Let's get all the cavalry back. Made some of their guns are out. My gun should be focus firing their artillery. You guys have fight will turn down. Good lads. Push up. Let's deploy you chaps to flank this militia. My cavalry could do it, but. Ooh, I think my cavalry just got shot by friendly fire. Specifically target against the cavalry. Form three impromptu square formations to prevent a breakthrough. Again, so I'm about to get shot to pieces. Gun team. Our 
reason is, is concerned. I'm not as concerned as they are now. Okay. Their Dragoons have gone into the mix. It's got a sharpshooter to pick off their Dragoons. Our cavalry is already very weak, so I'm not overly concerned of fratricide. Let's halt artillery fire. They're being shot down by our sharpshooters. I think this will be the end of the battle. I think. I'm not sure where anyone else is coming on. Absolutely continue, because they do have... They do have some useful troops that may seek to cause trouble. Although I think now it's just going to be these gun teams, so let's... Oh no, okay. I was concerned they weren't actually going to be targetable. But after they're a gun team, good. Close victory. So that should repel them all back. We've only lost 200 men. That was pretty effective. The Italians are reaching to the south, to the north. The garrison is gone. Their navy may seek to destroy our navy. Our navy is already destroyed. The Barbary states become a concern, but as you guys correctly point out, it does leave options there attacking North Africa. That has not yet been it does leave options for me to attack North Africa, which I will need to do, as it is my part of my campaign objectives. Let's replenish. Let's do a bit of building up here, as it's cheap. Hop back over. Yes. Got this force. Prepare for war. I think the only safe thing to do is to attack them now before they have a chance to regroup. I mean, I know they've got, they've got fractured forces, but still, I don't want them coming in. I want to take the city as quickly as possible and secure work for the 13 colonies position in Europe. Very powerful region, the region, but it's a region that will cause people to come to war with us, like the Venetians. God knows when. They'll send an army south. Okay. I'm going to attack from the east. Well, this is the east according to the compass. So it's just a pair apart. Guns to attack. Either side. Let's pick our weakest infantry units. To our two... Pick. Yeah. These guys will be covering the main breach, whereas the rest of our troops will be making our assault force. Because they won't have enough resources to hold the walls and the breaches all at once. I do have mortars, so we need to be pretty quick about it. Keep my cavalry near my guns with the general. speed element is so crucial I'm actually target all my guns to hit single sections of wall so we, we make the breaches as quickly as possible our, our assault forces are gonna have to take some casualties while we wait so I might speed up time just a little bit make this breach. Unfortunately they've got armed citizenry covering it. I want to make if I can make this breach this breach or two breaches and then send my assault forces in it provides them with not no there are no critical targets for their how it's just to focus on. Okay, 
right, it's time to make the second breach, so let's... Let's move up our main force here, in addition to running our assault, well, walk for now. But we will run our assault forces up into position. Then let's speed up time a little bit. Doing some damage to the internal structures. But we are bringing down this fort, and then we'll probably. I'm not sure what we'll shoot at in specifics. So the rangers are running, so they're probably going to get shot by, by mortars. My, yeah, my garrison, my breach forces are getting mortared, so you guys run up. And let's start to target you. So the Worcesters can hit the left. Grenadier Regiment, storm up the centre. Colonial Line can hold by the gate. The Union of Marines will take the right flank. Hessian Line, keep going long. Grenadiers will take the actual specific point on the right. Marines will flank around. Hessian Line... We'll run around to here, waiting for an eventual successful breach. Yep, so they are moving up to pick this artillery unit to keep firing at the breach. Let's bring our troops up into gun range. These guys should be shooting at that breach. about that. Move up the cavalry in rapid speed. Okay, we need to get people up on the walls. Rapidly before they have a chance to repel us. Hell. This unit might just run straight in. Breach. Here we go, lads. Scale the walls. Can we clone your light cavalry in there as well? God, friendly fire, really effective friendly fire. So the battle for the walls is kicking off. Good lads. Cavalry are in, and they're going to slaughter the mortars. The infantry can go in and attack their infantry. The rangers get inside the fort. Send the unit of Hessian line in. Storm this breach. Keep their units pinned down. General's been killed. That's their mortars that sacrificed. I mean, the, the gates are open, so we're going to run in. Don't just stand around gawking. To the gate shut. Charge in, my friends. So you guys may hold the center. Fire will off. Charge my cavalry in to the center. Send my infantry to storm into the rear of this infantry covering the breach. Good 
lads. They're still waiting for us to capture the walls. Okay, let's start to get units off the wall. Fire a wall first. Actually, you secure the gatehouse. The armed citizenry are holding on. Imagine to flank the armed citizenry holding the breach. The marines are up and ready. Grenadiers, let's get you off the wall. Come on, surely this gatehouse is ours. And, well, most of the city's defenders have melted away. This gatehouse is ours. Let's just bring them in. There we go. Garrison has fled. Except for... In. The cavalry streaming in good old time. The 11th Regiment of Foot are going to charge in. Never just saw what this Papal Guard were. Oh no, because we shot them before, didn't we? There we go. It's the entire garrison routed. Let's end it there. It is a heroic victory. Colonial power conquered the form of the Roman Empire. And it's ours. Of course, we are now at war with the Venetians. So our army needs replenishing. Our cities, or their cities, need rebuilding. That's a very good start. We have to be keep an eye on the Spanish because they may represent a threat to us in the future. Probably will secure Naples, that'd be the Italian peninsula captured. So, how are things going with us? So the British are there. Yeah, I'm still concerned about them. Um, but everywhere else, we seem okay. Like we're strong, generally. We have forces in Trinidad that need to move out. But I think, to be honest, I may try and make peace with the French now. Because we've got all the territories they want. And we've now got some interesting new possibilities. Peace and trade. Peace with the French has been signed. So let's try and get some trade with the 13 colonies. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all going to tell me exactly where to go. Come on, Russia, you're unfriendly with me. You don't like the fact I'm expanding, but let us trade. Um, yeah, go on. So they want me to give division of labour and they give us one and a half grand. Um, I think I'd like the one and a half grand to help, stud, help um, increase the stability of our forces in the region here. So Rome does hate us, but you have a university somewhere, do you? No, you don't. You just hate us because we're good old-fashioned enemies. So let's knock down the Jesuit College. Does that increase? Oh, yeah, it makes people happy. Um, don't really spend anything there. I'm looking at what's. I'm looking at Rome as the ideal place to to spend my money, but really I should look further afield, such as my dockyard. Can't build any forts. Let's recruit. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to recruit a sloop, do I? Uh, let's recruit an infantry unit to take. Which I think, yeah, the militia is still cheaper. I want a militia? Oh, I've already recruited one. I remember going through this thought, thought process before. Good, because this way I keep, I keep the port garrisoned without it creating any problems with, you know, having to move ships around. 
Uh, yes, and you have been developed. So you will become a training port because I haven't. I've got my own military port. I don't really need multiples yet. And besides, if I do fancy it, then there are other options. Let's keep you. Yeah, you're all good. So we're at peace with the Huron. Or we're trading with the Huron. And we're making a boatload of cash. And we've got some interesting military opportunities here in Europe. So Venice is... To be honest, actually, Venice might be... An interesting piece. So I was hoping to maybe get peace with Venice so I could expand or focus more on North Africa. Not quite the Ottomans yet, but maybe North Africa. Maybe knock out them the, the Knights of St. John. Because we're also at war with Gen Genoa, aren't we? Yes, we are. Northern Italy may have to be our short-term focus, but once we've fortified our position... Good times to hear again. Act to the Venetians to immediately send a force to attack us. Because they've not. They demand trade. Yes. I will give that minor concession for some trade. Taking Naples will, would be nice, but it's not a key priority for us at the moment. We have more dangerous enemies to the north, and we're still at war with New Spain. If we fancy taking more of their colonies. Yeah, the Venetians are they're growing their forces, but I don't have any problems of trying there to beat them in the battlefield. That has not yet been developed. I'm not going to develop that port either. So let's try and build the church school to convert Rome, of all places, to Christianity. Or to Protestantism. Convert Rome to Christianity. Um, let's build this, and let's make sure this army is... Are well, they still fully replenished? Where's the best place to spend money? I mean, yes, I do accept that we've given up the Leeward Islands, but to be honest, these two islands are worth 1,100, 700. These are worth 4,000, two and a half grand. I think we've come, off, come out of that rather well. Okay, Spaniolo. Let's get a new governor's barracks for you. Let's upgrade your... Upgrade your plantations to put out more goods for global trade. So 23,000. Who are we trading with that's making us so much money? Mm, the Ottoman Empire. For good trade Good trade amounts from them. Well, we can strike in centre of Italy, but they've got over it. So let's build a... Because we're not building a school here. Because it's Catholic, it causes more problems. Attempt to go with Grand Opera House. Or do you suffer from population problems? No, you do not. But because it's Italy, I'm tempted to go with creating their vineyards. There we go. The army is replenishing, and I can recruit one unit of line ready to form. Start forming a new garrison. Base. Because it's too easily blockaded. I mean, Corsica's growing slowly, so I might just exempt them from tax. And I also need to check for my check my Europe minister within my government tab, because that will have changed since we have become a European power. And I also need to upgrade that fort as well. Because that's a large native contingent and you would expect Cherokee to want to take their territory back. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the... So. Upgrading this fort. A lot of cavalry. Okay, let's get 
two units of marines. A whole lot of text. Let's get some more infantry. Uh, maybe that much infantry might be a bit overkill for now. Let's do just three, and then let's start to recruit some. Do I spend the money on a dry dock? Get just get me second rates. Yeah, it does get me second rates. I think I saved the money and invest in the dry dock first. Oh, damn, I should have checked my new towns. Baltimore and Brunswick. Okay. So you stop focusing on, uh, on diamond formation, wedge formation. Go for socket bayonet. Hartford, go for... Can't go for any useful techs. We maybe improve grenades. Let's help start to advance down the military tree. We've done the artillery tree. There's not a huge amount of. Mm. Advanced irrigation. It's not bad actually. No, artillery. It's only two turns as well. End turn. Maryland and Brunswick, Maryland and Brunswick, they're the priorities. Good to see the Danes are still surviving. I suppose we'll have to see who becomes ascendant in that theatre. I think, or maybe, if, I wonder if in some weird way the AI's, you know, the Cherokee AI want to take their territory, but I'm an ally, but, so maybe they're in some sort of weird loop. That's why they're gathering. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Auto. Sail for home. Sad face. It's probably going to get chased down. Yep. The AI does like doing that. I mean, they've still not managed to kill us. No, they have now. Oh, they captured us as well. Disaster. Although, they've seemed to not have expanded their fleet. So where have these pirates come from? Is it because... There is a port in this region that has not yet been... Fine! If we keep developing this port, I'll develop it. But let's take this army out. By the land. Advance yeah, us. Start to build up my garrison forces. Oh god, no, they hate us. I forgot about that. Onward, Any sir. further orders? It's only my army keeping them in line. Your humble servant. To be honest, you can probably turn that level of recruitment down as well. Not gonna really need it. Not just yet. Build the church school, let's build the trading port just to shut the advisor up. Okay. Baltimore become a craft workshop. Maine also become a craft workshop. Excellent. I mean, need to upgrade you to a classic university, although I'm going to run into problems because I've not got a university in my capital later on in the game. Let's just do that for now. Good. So now Rome is ever so slightly going to tick towards being a lovely Protestant nation and get rid of political unrest entirely. Oh yes, those troops in Virginia are going to march down to support the troopers down here. Let's upgrade the chapter school to a college of divinity in an attempt to try and stave off the effect of this missionary. Oh, don't spend the money there. I'd rather spend it. Oh yes, the Reiki boy needs to keep trying to kill the Spanish missionary. It's probably up in Newfoundland actually I can spend it. So yep, it's the, the Dutch have fallen, which is what's allowed the 
pirates to be reborn. Troops. So let's get our Forward. garrison army back onto the ships. March. Sell them over and take Kurakao. Demand surrender. To be honest, that's just a pretty weak army. Lawrence O'Malley. Victory. We're just going to take you. And we'll spend that money repairing. Or not repairing. Your structures. So we are, it's very tempting to take Caracas and then try maybe get get with Spain. I could sell them up and take Louisiana but they're a bit isolated. They're just a couple of rebels so I'm not really worried about them. Sweden? Oh Westphalia owns Iceland. So how do they trade that away? Oh the Swedes have Denmark. They have a conscript army. Oh they have Frederick Carlson in the, in the garrison. Hmm. Ooh, and you guys need, still need replenishing. Okay, let's end turn. Oh. So my priority for my Rome arm would be to take Venice and take Genoa, secure my Italian holdings, start to build up garrisons in both those territories. Then probably build another army, a separate army. Ooh, who has landed and taken Tripoli? Someone's taken it. It looks like us, but it can't be us. Unless there's some sort of weird mechanic, which means they can declare for us. Because they know we're so pro and badass. Louisiana's being skimps, but they have no port, so... This is constant. Oh, I don't like how they're boxing my resupply troop, my supporting troops in. It really feels like they really want to attack there me, is but... Unused land suitable for plantations in this the region. AI is just not letting them. So let's repair this. So then let's go to here. Ready for Walk around our friendly allies. You could probably do with a grenadier. Let's get two grenadier units. So we have improved grenades. I can't upgrade the school. And that gives us access to explosive shells. Good. Governor's office and lots of new plantations. Good stuff. Build. Oop. Let's build a sloop. And let's build ports. Let's build a road, sorry. Let's probably get my limited fourth rates Underway. to port here. You guys both have sloops. We could probably upgrade to government chambers in Parimbo. Oh no, roads may be better. Get more of our product to ports for onward sail. Spend it on replenishing and turn. The Austrians are coming. I wonder what they want. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I forgot to check who's taken... Tripoli. Damn. Tripoli. Remember to check. That's what happens when you have an hour-long part. It's super easy just to kind of crank out on the turns and... Just let things roll on. It 
feels like something would yeah that just feels really weird to see <laughs> to see ai stacks do that there's a port in this region Ooh. that has not yet been developed spain's just cancelled the trade port agreement let's upgrade this let's hop over to italy keep an eye on this garrison so we've got a general and some conscripts Okay, let's start to upgrade, start to build a garrison. And let's build, build a Grand Opera House and the Drill School. And let's upgrade this building and the Chapter School to the College of Divinity. Florence will grow in nine turns, which is here. Not bad. We could probably build a school here eventually. Fortunately, Venice is still just going to be Venice. Some cool Swiss pike units. Sure, they won't have a garrison here ready to defend if they come at us from Naples. And also in case Genoa tries something sneaky. Lots of stuff's been built. It's the British have taken tuners. That in of itself is not a problem. Um, I would be looking to. I want Cairo in the long term for my objectives. Egypt, Ireland. Yep, do have to declare war on my mother power eventually. I could probably take. Oh, sorry, that's uh, Tunis on the coast, Tripoli's further along in the, the more Libya area. I mean, I know it's also Libya, but. Well, Tunis is Tunisia, but you know, Libya sort of in the the lower bucket part of the coast. Okay. The main thing is to make sure we're spending right now we're at relative peace. But we need to make sure we're spending our money such that we are seeing a return. It's the Danish Navy on the move. It's, better, it's in better shape than my Navy. There is a port in this region that is not yet. Fine. Okay, let's go check. Pretty good, we can make some upgrades. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Not you yet. Let's hop down to Cuba. Ooh, new building in Cuba. Craft weavers. Boom. I mean, there's no limit. Our exports aren't limited yet. Maybe I build this as a naval dockyard or a shipyard, more focus on the Caribbean. Let's hop over to Europa. So they're moving out now. They're a bit grumpy, my lord. But they're enough. Good, let's put a cavalry in it. At the ready. Let's march you up. Waiting for your orders. Pretty wait a turn to replenish, and then we'll move and hit Venice. Well, there will be a pitched battle, and will we knock them out? Well, Poland's on the move. Poland's not taking any nonsense. Well, except for the Prussians, of course. Psych. With Venice, I would definitely want to build a build fortifications to guard from the east. I'm not necessarily bothered about getting involved in European wars. Um, well, I say getting involved in European wars. I mean, I am involved in wars in Europe. But what I mean is, if war with Prussia or Poland or Austria is coming, I want them to initiate it. My 
concerns are more general. Like I'm not determined to. Oh God, that looks like a big old army. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So don't mind the pop-ups because they do just kind of make you. Oh, okay, don't forget about X Y Z. Good. So our roads are being built. I don't think they don't think their army's growing. It might be the garrison that's growing. <coughs> they have come over, Your Majesty. So if I were to attack them, if I were to attack them, it would probably go well. We have a big, we have a large army, a well-disciplined army. I think I might try to go. Trouble is, where's their zone of control? I think it ends at the river, so if I go here, Forward. I might be able to sucker them into a river battle. Which would be a good idea. So, recruit our cavalry, recruit some more artillery, a bit more line infantry. I'll cancel our cavalry units, I'm anticipating something more cool coming up. Yeah, got some, get some lances and hussars, good stuff. Yeah, so I could go down and take Tripoli to at least cut the British off from advancing east. Russia's finally taken the Crimean states. The Crimean nations. God, Poland's taken Berlin. I know a war with Poland. Poland. Peace. Ah. Uh, Trade with you. Can't trade with Prussia, although they're seriously lacking for allies at the moment. Not well, there's anything we can do. Anything I can spend in Corsica? No. So gonna, yeah, you're all you're, you're already exempt from taxes. Good. Hold back over to the Americas. Actually, what's happening in India? The Marathas haven't yet exercised control, complete control, and our objective is Bengal. Bengal, Bishapur, and Hindustan. Hmm. Oh yeah, this has been built finally, but I have no money. Okay, let's end turn. Come on, Venice, make a move towards my territories. Come the poles. The Russians and the Ottomans still eat each other's throats. To be honest, I'm surprised that New Spain hasn't become absorbed into the Spanish Empire. Ooh! Interesting. River battle lovely stuff and they're fairly depleted actually so let's prepare to slaughter another Italian army in the open field before we march on and take their well yeah, it is the best option take Venice build walls build a garrison and have them all po poking their guns east it's the main army army west to take Genoa and be ready to jump on to uh, Turin or Milan if France or Spain Is there no... Oh, there is... Okay, that's been stupid. Okay, so... One battery here. Not directly covering the... Oh. Mm. Let's get these guys out of the way. Let's do a bit of... Ex not experimenting. Let's have a look. So they can whack them with canister shot. I think I might have one there. But the rest I want to have as a battery ready to, to engage whatever wherever their guns get placed. 
So the fort I want to put some some units of line, two units of marines and the Worcesters, maybe a grenadier unit with a ranger unit in reserve. So just group them together for now, just to make it clear in my head. These chaps go secure the bridge. Cavalry can hold back in both areas. General TBD. So the, so the Venetians may try a rushed crossing. all fire all off. Doesn't look like they're going to go over to that side of the bridge, that side of the river, so I might just put... Wow. These two units on guard. Bring these chaps back over here. I could cross it and try, you know, turn their flank or do something cool, but I want to see the slaughter. Go for our guns. We'll take losses, but we can afford to take losses because we've got loads of guys. Stuff. Every single one of you have a blast at that cavalry unit as it runs through, runs through your sights. Or maybe not. Let's get these two units to round shot the mercenaries and you. Sure, though. Are they shattered? Yeah, they are shattered. Yeah, so they're fine. Let's deploy my skirmishers here to take pot shots across the river. shot straight into them. No, actually keep firing. Keep firing as you were. My gun battery. You effectively just pound this area with round shot. Don't bother aiming for any particular unit. So here come the reinforcements. Pretty far away. Probably not doing a whole lot. This Hessian line unit just pours fire into them. Absolute cauldron. These are the kind of battles that you play Total War for. Yeah, cutting them down in the in the in the ford. Could send cavalry around, could do clever stuff by having the by the virtue of no one having this the other bridge. But I want to keep them coming this way. Can you... Both of you engage... Continue engaging the cannons. If 
do provide become headstrong enough to cross successfully to attempt to cross the river. Yeah. Quick climb would be beautiful right here. Oh, we just have an excellent artillery shot. You going to support your men trying to cross the river, Mont General? Broke their force trying to cross the bridge in its entirety. Delicious. It's a mass route. And this is exactly the kind of battle I wanted to see. Because think how many kills we're getting and how efficiently we are getting them. Beautiful stuff. It's got all my guns going off these demi cannons now because they're already picking at us in a frustrated way. Especially as they're going for our cannons. Beautiful. Such chaos. Such wild misses. Couldn't even take out one gun. Here they come again. The eighth advancing alone. It's the turn of the fifteenth. That would be disheartening, wouldn't it? Walking into battle and seeing the entire Italian army already routing, or Venetian army, I should say. Ooh, not tell one of their guns. Took his head off. Well, would have done. Yep, and they're routing. So let's get the fire back onto this European this army of mercenaries. Give our other chaps a bit more sport. Some cavalry would have a field day here. Many of them are retreating, but I think it's an acceptable trade. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Ooh, these militia may take a different road. Target this militia unit as they try something different. The one brave tree. Let's keep the artillery just firing right generically into the centre here. Yep. The militia's fallen. European mercenaries will fall, the general will fall. Pikemen, more pikemen. You have no chance, you brutes. I might actually just speed up a little bit. Yes, try crossing one big one big bunch. Dodge the canister shots. He's getting 
escape. Yeah, there's only so much you can do. Oh, they're starting to get hit by the... thrashed by the volleys of fire. Yep. Sending men into the meat grinder. One at a time. Well, that looks like some mercenaries have come back because they just went... got hidden. Yep, there they are. The regulars. Red stuff in there. Just like models of men. Huh. These men are even routing, they've not even lost any men yet. Actually, no, they've lost 14. Speed up time a little bit. Because ultimately, this is going to be a bit samey. It's going to be us chopping men to pieces on the river. Right now, the only variance that's going to mix up my scheme is the guns. But to be honest, they're all being very, very nice. Marching to us in the column. Thrashed, thrashed. Back they go again. To be honest, you're not, not actually firing, are you? Pretty sure you are actually dead. If not, then my artillery may all start focusing on counter battery. If they're going to be sneaky. Oh. Well, so long, so long, sneaky plan. Going to continue thrashing the centre. The accuracy is so bad. Attacking the ground. Is just as uh, just as effective. Oh no, they've come back. Oh no, these are different gunners. No, they still have come back. Okay, let's engage them with the guns. Line infantry's routed. These poor old pikes, they're not even gonna be able to provide provide fire. So this is why I've got these cannons firing kind of shot because it's just easier to to manage, I find. In advance they do. With their plate armour. As they get lashed again and again. Big block of them, cast shot coming in. They're confident. It's probably because of the numbers. But numbers will not be enough. I'll say these are, the f these are the furthest infantry I've actually got. I think it is. No Venetian army has ever yet has yet touched the dry side of the shore. So you're, you're wavering, you better not. You've run out of ammo. Let's bring these ranges in. God, absolute slaughter. Just get you guys back onto firing at them. This is just. This is just unfair. Well, that's not unfair. That's what happens when you attack me across a river. Yep, that's enough for you guys. This is also some lovely, lovely experience for our gunners, for our troops. 
because we're barely going to have to recruit men to fill these units back up. As another Venetian push gets repelled, we've even got the Irregulars in. Pikemen are back. These cavalry have had enough of the slaughter. They will have no more. sorts of musket fire, artillery fire, canister shot tearing their riders straight out of the saddle. Wow. Of course, Mojinaral has retreated, hasn't he? They're providing some fire on the riverbank, but it will not suffice. Crash of more volleys coming in. My men have plenty of ammunition. So now is the time to deploy our cavalry. Because the only remaining force are the gunners. Okay, you may have just killed a bunch of my own cavalry. Send my cavalrymen to tidy up. And my general. Absolutely continue. This is a battle that can turn and kill us. Well, not turn and kill us, but can fight us in later battles. Let's get my gun guns to shoot it. Charge them down, boys. single guy. General's tidying them up nicely. These disastrous battles for the Italians. Charge him down. Just one remaining. Decisive victory. Damn right. Where their forces retreat to. If they retreat to Venice, that's one thing, but hopefully they retreat past it. 200 men for the loss of 2,000 men. Yep, that leaves Venice open for the taking. And we will take it. There is unused land suitable for Ooh, plantations okay. in this region. Okay, keep. Ministers. This Royal Minister is pretty good. Our European Minister is a bit naff. Calvin Paynton is still naff. I can't just do what I like. Okay, New Haven's grown, so I'll probably build a coaching in to help offset unhappiness. Let's build these two military buildings to make sure we can research and do a tech. Rally has had a craft workshop. Okay, we have to go back and check our tech advances. Polish Divinity's good, Rome's been upgraded. Keep growing. Can get some Lancers. Actually, meh. Yeah. Get some guard, inf guard infantry, because you might get attacked. Hispaniola's got a port, and so has Cuba has got a sloop. Cuba has got a craft workshops. So our overall economy is growing quite nicely. 
see the growth of an army in central Italy. Can we tax you yet? We can. Excellent. So this army is Andrew Hamilton, who's done an absolutely stellar job to date. One of our best generals. He's going to attack the city. But looking at the timer, I think that's for the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the conquer, or in conquering of Italy and the destroying of one of our enemies. Alright, thanks guys.